Oh, a brass anchor just fell out. <laughs> Lenovo IdeaPad 120S hinge repair. Nasty hinge damage. So we're gonna fairly quickly. Oh, look, I have a regular screwdriver and it takes torxes. Thanks, Lenovo. Does it take a uh, T5? T5? Mm, feels like a T6, but a T5 kind of fits, so I'm going to use a T5. So this should be a fairly quick hinge repair because if you look over at the plastics, the mounts have ripped clean out. And because the mounts ripped out so cleanly, we're basically just going to slather on a pile of epoxy and let it cure. And that'll be the end of that. It's uh, This one has to be picked up tomorrow. So the computer works other than the serious hinge damage. So if we can get that hinge set by tomorrow morning, the customer will be very happy. Um, just to be clear, I'm filming this at midnight. So yes, that's right. I do sometimes work quite a bit. Anyway. Yeah, no, the usual, take all the screws out of the bottom, the most boring part. Uh, but it must be done. Because you can't take the bottom off until you have all the screws out of it, right? So, all the screws are out. Oh yeah, and as I suspected, the hinge has already kind of ripped the bottom open for us. So, uh, it just pries up, be gentle. And there's not much to the insides of it. Um, while we're in here, it, since one ripped out, we should probably reinforce both. But, um, let's see what's going on over here first. We have a display cable that we don't want to get stuck. So that's a potential problem. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay. Let me get you some zoom. Okay. So we have a display cable here. We don't want to get stuck. Let's pop him loose. Come on. Get off there. Okay, how bad is it? How bad is it? Well, the screw that goes through the bottom fell out. So we may need to find a suitable replacement or just steal this from somewhere else in the case and put it back where we really want it to go. Uh, there's something sticky right there. I think this computer... Oh, why is there something sticky right here? Sometimes you go in these things and find stuff you weren't expecting. I don't know what that is. I'm going to assume it's adhesive and uh, it's supposed to be there and not screw with it. So I don't get myself in further trouble with this horrible mess. Um, I mean, it doesn't look like any wires are damaged. It, it really is just that the hinge sheared right out. Um, unfortunately, one of the problems is that the hinge has to kind of sit inside. So, you have to open it, get it to, ooh, a brass anchor just fell out. All right, step one is to get the hinge back inside the case. But, um, where did this, where did this brass thing come from? Um, oh, one of them over here. This one's damaged, too. Uh, where did it go? Okay, how did that happen? See, it's, it's amazing how easy it is to lose track of these stinking things. There it is. So, we lost a uh, one of the brass things there on the other corner. Yeah, just came clean out. So... Inspect the others for damage. We're gonna have to rebuild this one down here in this corner as well I'm gonna get you out here. So Well that adds a little bit of extra work 
let's get this hinge off and see how bad, if at all, this other hinge is. I bet it's not bad, but the fact that they managed to break one side, I worry that they'll be able to break the other side or that the other side may already have been damaged somehow. So let's get it to come up. I'll try not to put too much pressure on this plastic thing. I don't know if it matters, but I don't like to find out the hard way that it did. So let's get this hinge to come up. You can always push it back down. So this hinge is actually screwing through a big piece of metal here. So even if it broke loose, this piece of metal, whatever it anchors to, is going to hold it. So that hinge should actually be perfectly fine on its own. But this other one, there is no such piece of metal reinforcing that side. So we know that this hinge is good and that hinge is bad. The design is not so great. Now, let's see here. Come on, buddy. And it takes forever. Why? Is there another magnet? I don't know. Let's get this back together. And we just won't touch that hinge at all. Because we now that we know that that hinge is okay, let's tighten it down and leave it alone. Because that side is golden, so we need to repair this corner and these over here. It's not going to take too much epoxy to get this done. So we have a cut off Q-tip. Literally just uh, use a scissors or a knife to cut the end off of it, the cotton end. Um, I think I think it might be helpful if you have more light. Hold on. Yeah, that's better. So you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I have an envelope that I ripped open and uh, someone gave me money in it. And I'm going to reuse it as a pad for the epoxy. Once again, as in all videos, Loctite plastic bonding epoxy is what I like to use. It's getting harder and harder to find this in stores, but I've never had a problem finding it on eBay or Amazon. So that's wonderful. Uh, let's get... Ooh, it's coming out a little bit... It's a little bit overzealous about coming out. Here, look. Move it here. So you can see... Oh, yeah. Um, use proper ventilation. I may have to get up and turn a fan on. Give me uh, just a minute so I can do that. Hold on. Get the epoxy resin and hardener, mix them together. All right, notice the ink is coming up. The ink's not gonna hurt anything. I don't care about the ink that used to be on here. All right, let's, let's get some detailed work area. Let's see, how can I get this where you can see it the best? Okay, well, actually, let's do this one first. So this one needs to be done. And boy, I hope you can see it okay. Uh, we're gonna put this anchor back in. Actually, technically I think they're called brass inserts, but uh, whatever, I don't care. Um, now, the biggest problem I have with this is I have a really nasty habit of putting these down and then kinda clogging the hole. Um, such that a screw won't go into said insert and uh, that's not very useful so you know do what you can but usually the best thing to do is to jam a screw in there if you can just so that when it goes back together don't have too much to worry about come on bud Get in the hole, Jesus. It doesn't want to go. There's not much of a hole left, to be fair. 
Um, that one I'm probably actually gonna... Yeah, I think... Alright, new plan for that one. Here's what we're gonna do for that one. For that one, let's get the hole filled in with epoxy. We're gonna have to work quick. So, um, take your lid, take one of the screws that would go in that spot in the lid. Okay. Come on, come on. Hold that, please. Take one of the screws, put it through. All right. So here, let me show you what I'm doing. Uh, take one of the screws, put it through, and then take your brass insert. Go ahead and combine your insert and your screw the way they're going to be in the case. Just go ahead and do it. And what will happen is the epoxy will take care of the rest. Now I have to get this done quickly in order for the epoxy I've already put there to not become a problem because this stuff sets in as little as five minutes. So here, zoom in real quick, take a look at this. Um, we have three holes here and they need to be basically just glob epoxy onto them. Be careful not to get any on the one that's in the middle, however, which is kind of the problem with this setup is that the one in the middle is, um, you really don't want to get the epoxy on that one. It's intact and we're going to put a screw through it later. Even though that one fell out, we're going to put one on it anyway. You really don't want to block that middle hole up. Um, like I said, this is why... Uh, here we go. Yeah. So, get some epoxy on both ends. You don't want to overdo it. it. It can be bad if you overdo it. But given that this is already compromised, usually these days, I favor building up pretty decently. Um, one of the other things that you're going to have to worry about is you don't want to get it on the actual rotating part of the hinge. That uh, that won't serve anyone terribly well, trust me. Um, yeah, I just got it on the middle part, didn't I? Yes, I did, because I'm so smart. So, you know that thing that I said not to do? Uh, uh, look, 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 yep, yeah, mm-hmm, yep, yeah, okay. All right, good. So, that's basically the end of that. Is there anywhere else I can add a little bit more? I mean, I could put some in this corner here. You know, it doesn't hurt to reinforce things a little bit. But one of my goals is to not overdo the epoxying. All right, so now we need to fold this hinge back down. Um, stabilize the computer and just put some force into it <clears throat> it's not easy try and get it lined up so it comes down where it's supposed to luckily those pegs that guide it down are still in place I just realized I epoxied that screw by accident let's get the epoxy off of it if at all possible okay good good okay that hinge is intact now we're especially fortunate with this one. Let me get this display cable here. Back in pl Come on now. These display cables can be a real pain to get snapped just right. Okay, so now... Now that we've gotten this hinge pushed all the way down, um, and it should be aligned quite nicely at this point, um, we still have this corner here that needs to be dealt with. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this, put it back on, and hope that that does what I want. Actually, I'm gonna snap that corner and then pull it up and see what happens. Not much epoxy's making it onto that. So I'm gonna go ahead and dabble the slightest bit on the end, the very end. Because one day you might have to take that screw back out and if it's epoxied in too hard, you may strip it out rather than taking it out. 
All right, snap it back together. Put the whole thing back together. All right. Oh, oh, I found the magnet. It's yanking all the screws. And let's get these screws put back in. Um, because we're doing this hinge and I'm worried about alignments and, and you know, things setting and whatnot. Um, oh, look, a piece of a thing. That's the rest of that post. Well, we already put epoxy down to take care of that. So, because I'm worried about, yeah, these are all the same. Um, the hinge is not lining up, and this one being epoxied down, let's go ahead and get it tight, like tight, tight. Not super tight, but I'm uh, gonna tighten it pretty hard. And I wanna go ahead and just get the corner screws in first. Um, Mostly just because if something really stupid were to happen and I lost half the screws, I've I've smacked the screws from computers off the bench before. And I have screw buckets to hold them while I work on them, and you'd think I would have learned by now, but yeah. So I'm just going to generally put these back. We're going to be missing one screw, and I'm probably going to let that missing screw... I can't decide. The front is going to take a lot more force than the middle and back and all that. Okay, so let's get all the front ones. Hmm, that wasn't fun. Let's get all the front ones first. Just because. Why not? Okay. And yeah, I think I'll leave the middle back one out, actually, because the hinge screws should hold it together quite nicely. So I'll just leave the middle back screw out. I'm not even gonna bother looking for a replacement right now because I don't know that I have any. Even if I do, it's not gonna matter much, is it? So just that one screw, actually, should hold this together enough that I can open it normally. Yeah, it's got some flex there. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it alone. Let it cure overnight. Throw away this epoxy, and that's it. Lenovo IdeaPad 120S. Broken hinge mount repair. Um, once you get this top off, Everything's pretty straightforward. Um, getting access to anything inside, and you saw some pictures. Go back and take a look if you are interested in upgrading things and want to know where they are. I don't know if this is upgradable or not because I wasn't paying attention. Whatever. Have a good one.